What's up guys, welcome back, this is Ghost X. In this video, I will be talking about the best strategies, in my opinion, on how to run the new Dark Aether, whether solo or with a squad. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Without further ado, let's dive right in. What items you need in your Rex? I recommend a VR11, in my opinion, is better than a Scorcher, as not only you run fast with it, but you can turn zombies into mercs who would work as a decoy for you. You will need a Juggernaut, and if you don't have it, then run M7 with flamethrower would really help. You will also need a sentry gun and you will see where exactly you can use it. I recommend 4 to 6 casmere bombs and of course the rest of your rucksack you can add self revives or more casmere bombs. Of course all of your weapons have to be packed 3. Ether blade, dog bone and armor for sure will make things way easier but if you don't have them you will still be able to do it especially if you were with a squad. First thing you need to do after you spawn in the dark ether is go back get in this building and grab the first bunny then go to the back of the building and run toward the bounty to avoid as many zombies as you can before you get there throw your juggernaut about 50 meters or so away from it by the time you reach the bounty the juggernaut would be ready as soon as you eliminate it grab your reward and head northeast Once you get to this building, climb from the back to grab the second bunny. Use the elevation to jump to the objective. Once you're there, place your sentry gun in one of the corners, activate the objective, and have your flamethrower ready. Be mindful of your dog location as you need to protect it as much as possible. Here you could use your casmere bombs, however, try your best to save them for the last objective. Use your VR11 to turn zombies so they can work as decoy for the manglers and mimics. Remember, manglers drop casmere bombs. After you collect your rewards, head northeast to the north side of this giant building so you can use the truck and boxes to climb up to the third bunny. Follow the route you see here and you won't get lost. See, you don't need a scorcher. Once you get the bunny, run to the roof until the end so you can jump to your objective. Use your Casmir's and VR11. Don't spend time on killing zombies. Once you activate these objectives, run to the next one as fast as you can. Usually the first one is the hardest, however, it is not a rule. After you're done, you can do either north or south exits to Exfil to know exactly where to Exfil and where are these locations. Download Warzone Hub app on your phone or just go to their website and you will see the Dark Ether map. If you like the video, stay tuned for more. Hit like and subscribe to help the channel rise to the top. Also check out the streams and join me in running Dark Ether or Red Worm or whichever audience want to do to get their missions and challenges completed. Streams would be at 2 p.m. Central Time, Texas time, y'all. Y'all take care. Peace.